for understanding nature, you don't need to ask anybody. Not me, not anybody. Really anybody. Not even yourself, because you need the material in order to investigate inside yourself. You don't have this material within you imprinted. It's imprinted in your being as you are, I mean, determined by by physicality of, you know, underneath this head. You're determined by all these things. But in order to understand it, there is no nobody else to question. You see. You see for yourself. In other. Uh, everything else. And then see how everything else you're seeing, what that gives you. What that gives you gives you more questions if you don't stop if you stop you find the answer that's good but you never find the, the ultimate answer you never find it you can only see more and more information which if you're curious enough you find more and more investigation in yourself and you can trace everything that is happening around you in nature. Also the confusion on the other side, which I don't want to talk about now, about confusion, but all the rest that you see that is natural, that is in nature, everything is natural, but another topic about natural and unnatural. But in nature's perfection, everything is self-explanatory. You just watch it. So because we are limited, Technology will forever be pointing to our senses which are created by nature itself, so we can only expand on those and that's not real expansion because it will always tackle those defaults that we already have inside of ourselves. We cannot tackle something that doesn't exist. There are certain things that are as they are. We didn't create them, we simply see them as they are. You see this plant is what it is, it adapts to the environment where it is. Each plant has this aliveness in it, but at the same time has this diversity, which is that the plant will grow out of the seed, and it has this aliveness, but according to the temperature, to the heat, where it's thrown, it gonna form in a different way. And that's how also we can see ourselves. Our coincidence, where we are spawn let's say that determines kind of some of the behaviors that we will have then i'm gonna talk about the ego itself which is basically the coincidence itself and it's a broader topic so i will talk about this in another video because i want to dig deeper into that so because this is ever never ending exploration we can see how creativity exists in nature and how that creativity is connected to the logic of the nature. So once when we understand the logic of nature, then we can understand better ourselves. We can also understand to create better even like products that we like to play with, which is fun for me too, even that I understand that there is much more than that, but you also know that, everybody knows that there is much more than that. And sometimes we tend to confuse this kind of game that we try to, you know, that we are having fun playing with uh, the reality itself. And that uh, creates a lot of confusion. So, if you observe nature just by simply your senses which you have within you. Let's focus, for example, now, let's focus here on this little piece of wood, okay? You see that everything else is kind of blurred, right? You kind of see it, but you're focused over here, right? So, in the same way, when we analyze something, if we want to understand something, why, why would we even want to analyze something? Because we want to understand something, right? 
In order to understand something, we need to understand it in a context, not only in this particular focus, but in the context of the overall, you know, overall thing. You can see the creativity of nature in itself, for example. You can see this. This is a pine cone, right? From the pine tree. So what it does, it's really intelligent in the design. It's super intelligent. So nature is super efficient in designing things. Because it doesn't focus on a single point. They're working with the environment. When the heat is on, these, they open. Then the wind blows and it disperses them. And that's how they multiply. That's how they propagate. So nature is really sophisticated and really intelligent in the design. Everything is conditioning. And the conditioning, it's guided by the principles of nature. It's not guided by our opinions. So it's really important to understand the difference between the opinions and between the facts. The facts are not debatable. So without air, you die. And that's really not something you can debate. If you say but, then it goes, the problem starts. And when you also try to imagine something else and to paragon it with the thing, why do you need to do that? See everything in everything. See the same pattern, see the same perfection in everything. So understanding this perfection of nature, then we can understand better, as I mentioned, the creativity. So, when the tree grows, it leaves, it opens the new branches. And new branches, they, they just rise into the sky, and they just multiply, and they just sprout and sprout. And as they are growing, also from the outside, also from the inner world, inside of themselves, inside of the roots, that's also how we think about things. When you focus on something, when you want to explore something, you put root into it. And that root expands and expands. And more you think about it, more you think about it, more it evolves, more it puts more branches and more branches and more branches. And then there is a fruit and then there is another tree later on and another idea and another thing and another thing. So more you drill into your mind, more you drill into your ideas, more you drill into your passion, more you drill to whatever you want to focus on. Whatever you do, you branch that thing that you are. It's just the way the nature works. You just like expand, 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 expand. Like the river. It flows, it flows, it flows, and then it divides on certain points and it flows, it flows, it flows. Things are kind of self-explanatory if you want to look at them and just observe them without putting into them your ideas, without putting into them stories, without putting into anything. You just see them as they are. The tree, just like when the heat is right, it opens. When the rainy season, before that, there was a lot of seeds. Everything makes perfect, perfect sense. Animals behave the same. Some trees they have within them different ways how they are designed, different ways they are intelligently designed to propagate the life. Many people also mentioned that this is about reproduction. And When you reproduce, you reproduce what? You reproduce life. So you don't reproduce reproduction. You reproduce life because it's about life and then expanding of what, 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 life. So, as we can see that every tree, every plant, every bug, everything has their own adaptation, their own understanding of where they are, what they are made to be. What they are made to be. Everybody is made to be, to live. Everybody is made to express life. And nobody can put a word on it. Everybody can. It doesn't mean anything. 
And that's the beauty of it. As soon as you put a word on it. You try to close it for yourself. Just for yourself. 